This is the training video for learning about how to mount the Smart Aligner tool to the bracket and deploying the arms. The Smart Aligner tool will be referred to as the tool for the purpose of this video. The patent pending design of the tool facilitates maximum performance with compact storage size. We will be discussing the following items. Parts of the tool. Tethering the tool to the bracket. Positioning the tool on the bracket. Fastening the tool to the bracket. Arm positioning. Removing the tool from the bracket. Tool troubleshooting. Key point review. The tool is comprised of the blue base, LCD display, membrane panel, mounting screw, tether line with fast pin, electronics bay, arm hub, long arm, short arm, and the two tapered mounting pins that attach to the tapered pin holes on the universal mounting bracket. The tool should be handled by the blue base only. The mounting tab or hub strut is recommended. Never hold the tool by the white arms. Prior to attaching the tool to the bracket, the fast pin of the tether should be inserted into the receiving hole on the bracket. The tether line fast pin is inserted and removed by pressing the release lock button. The next step is to decide where to position the tool in the bracket. The user has three choices on how to orient the tool. The tool can mount forwards, sideways, or backwards. If the antenna has no obstacles in front, which could prevent a forward orientation, and the antenna is not live, the forward position is preferred. If there is an obstacle in front of the antenna or the antenna is live, the side orientation is preferred. If the antenna is live and either side has obstacles, then use the backwards mounting orientation as space permits. Once you have decided how to position the tool in the bracket, line up the mounting screw over the center mounting hole of the bracket plate. Make sure that one hand is supporting the free end of the tool. Then gently allow the two tapered pins under the mounting flange of the tool to drop into the tapered holes in the bracket plate. Then tighten the screw until secure. When the arms are in the storage position as shown, the tool is very compact. However, GPS compass tools have superior azimuth accuracy when the GPS antenna elements are separated by 0.5 meters or more. When the arms are deployed, the GPS antenna elements are separated by 0.5 meters and the Smart Aligner tool is capable of 0.5 degrees of azimuth accuracy or better. All the user has to do is deploy the arms so that the blue chevrons on both arms line up. The deployed positions are the forward position, the left T position, and the right T position. It is important to note that each arm has a limited range of motion. The long arm can only move from the home position to either 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. The short arm can move from the storage position to 90 degrees left 180 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees right, and 180 degrees counterclockwise, but it cannot continue rotating around in a complete circle. The reason that the range of motion is controlled in this way is to prevent damage to the cables that connect each GPS antenna element to the electronics. It is also important that the user make sure that the arm is properly locked in the detent position. You can feel the arm snap into place when the correct detent position is found. Generally speaking, it is recommended to always use the T position because this provides maximum extension of the GPS antenna's elements from the antenna being aligned. For the same reason as keeping the bracket as high up the antenna as possible, proper GPS antenna extension is instrumental to mitigating multipath error effects on the azimuth solution. Therefore, space permitting, for live antennas, it is recommended to have the tool to the right or left of the antenna and the arms in the T position. Before removing the tool from the bracket, ensure that the arms are in the storage position. It is recommended to turn the tool off to conserve battery power prior to the next survey. 
never leave the tool powered on with the arms deployed while moving to the next antenna. This could potentially affect your azimuth solution drastically. Next, support the free end with one hand while unfastening the screw with the other. Once separated, remove the fast pin from the bracket, insert it into the storage hole of the tool, and store the tool securely. If you find that the bracket is moving slightly after the tool is mounted to it, then try tightening the strap slightly more. If you are unable to get an azimuth measurement within three minutes, try moving the tool to the side or backwards in the bracket and putting the arms in the T position. The front arm is stuck and will not retract to the storage position. If you rotated the front arm to the forward position in a clockwise direction, you need to return it using the same path, counterclockwise, because the short arm cannot rotate in a complete circle, 180 degrees each way. The long arm will not move to the forward position. The long arm can only be in three positions. The home position, 90 degrees to the left, or 90 degrees to the right. Key point review. Always handle the tool by the blue base only. Never handle by the white arms. Attaching the tether fast pin to the bracket is the first step to attaching the tool. For live antennas, it is best to mount the tool to the side or backwards. The arms can be deployed in any position as long as the chevrons line up. For best performance and with live antennas, it is best to deploy the arms in the T position. The short arm can only move 180 degrees clockwise or 180 degrees counterclockwise. The long arm can only move 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. Always ensure that the arm is properly in the detent position. Always return both arms to the storage position prior to removing the tool from the bracket. Never leave the tool powered on with the arms deployed when moving it to a new antenna.